What is going on guys? It's your boy Slick and today we're gonna be, you know, highlighting the meta, alright? I can't really hide that. Um, I took a T17, I went and capped, and I spawned in a Venom. And the reason why, there's a point behind this, is I want to show how powerful a fighter can be. So the Venom, right, it's a jet. It's a 9.0 jet. And mainly people use it as a fighter. In ground forces, you can use it as a fighter bomber. It has a good ordnance load. It gets two 250s and eight uh, RP3 rockets. And this is a fighter. So not only does it get the, a the ability uh, to destroy, you know, possibly five tanks, but it also gets the ability to destroy five tanks and then unlimited amounts of airplanes dependent on what they bring in. A lot of people like to bring in props to 8.0 9.0 matches and <laughs> an SU-6 versus a Venom, I don't really have to tell you what's going to happen. So this is one of the problems with the ground force meta is the fighters that can bring in an, a, a copious amounts of bombs and ordnance. A lot of people talk about just CAS in general, but it's it's really the fact that these these fighters are bringing in these bombs. They're they're fighters, and I mean you can say that it's it's a kind of multi role thing, but they're really not. And um, you know they they're really good fighters. I mean that's I say that a lot. I've, I've said it a lot thus far, but. Um, a Venom, this is a problem in ARB when a Venom can do this much damage by himself, you know, it's just a fighter. So watch, watch this shot too, this is also why I wanted to use this footage, because this shot was pretty sick. Um, so what can we do to fix this? I mean, again, like I said, I think the plane spawns need to be higher, but I also think that fighter plane spawns should be higher than, um, bombers and stuff, but fighters with ordnance should have even more of a special holding back it should be a little bit more than say a bomber like an ad2 is on a different level than a venom in this match you know and i think we all agree with that so an ad2 is going to do way less damage arguably than a venom if they're in the same hands if somebody knows how to use a venom compared to somebody knowing how to use an ad2 they can do a lot more with the venom they can have faster strikes they can even hit aa because of how fast they are they can kill MiG MiG 17s all the way down to biplanes, obviously, uh, where an 82 is pretty limited in what it can do. You know, it, it's kind of stuck to being that fighter bomber role. So I think that more of that needs to be implemented in the game. You know, the big slow things that have a lot of ordnance probably should be fine, and then like the small fast things should not get a lot of ordnance in ground forces because they get to just dictate the rules of battle. Now I understand that the Venom can carry this much, and I understand that's just a design that it's a really good plane. I don't know. Um, I don't know if that would be a good solution to, like, limit the Venom's capabilities. Maybe it can only carry a couple rockets in, when it's in ground forces, or if it should just cost more and it gets all the rockets it gets. But I just want to do this quick video as a discussion. Uh, I should have a video out later on today of some live gameplay. I'm going to go do some laundry right now. I hope you guys enjoy the video. I hope you think about it. I'll uh, let the rest of this gameplay shoot down a couple more planes and stuff with some music in the background. So I just really wanted to bring this to light and wanted to talk to the community about it. What do you guys think? Fighters? 2 OP? <laughs> in ground forces? I mean, we talked about it, but this is just taking a look specifically at the fighters that are multi-role, you know? Things that can shoot down a lot of planes and kill a lot of tanks. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace, peace. Got me down again.